Hi guys, welcome to fifth grade, chapter 11, lesson 11. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. So all we're doing, obviously I'm not an artist because I probably could have been an illustrator, but we are finding the volumes of each one of the shapes that we do know. So each one of the rectangles, and then we're just gonna add them together, okay? So over here, I just rewrote the numbers in number two, okay? So I could have done six times two, which is 12, which is super easy, but then I'm multiplying 16 by 12, and that's a double digit. So I didn't want to do that. So I did 16 by two, which gives me a double digit, but then I'm just multiplying by a single digit. I did the same thing right here. I could have done two times eight, which would have given me 16, but then I have to multiply 16 by a double digit. And this way, I just have to multiply it by a single digit, okay? So that's why I multiplied it the way that I did. Okay, so six times two, is 12, carry the one. Six times three is 18, plus one is 19. So now I have 192, okay? Eight times four is 32, carry the three. Eight times two is 16, plus three is 19. Oh, 192 again, okay? So now I'm just gonna add those two together. Four, 18, carry the one, and three. 384. And you can write centimeters cubed, or you can write cubic centimeters. Totally your choice, whichever one you prefer. Okay. Okay. So we're going to do number three. Okay. And this one says seven times three times one. All I did was I cut this, and the whole thing is eight inches up here, but I had to take that one inch off that's right there. So now it's seven. So seven times three times one, well, that's 21, okay? This one is six tall, one across, and this right here tells me that it's one deep, or sorry, three, three, okay? So one times six is six, six times three is 18. So now I'm just gonna do 21 plus 18, 39 inches cubed. Okay, you guys are gonna do number four. I already wrote the numbers in there for you. All I did was split it up and then six by four by 12, okay? And then four by eight, and it already tells me that it's four tall, okay? It's the same height, it's just different width, okay? So you guys go ahead and do that one. We're gonna go down. And it says, as part of our shop class, Jules made the figure below out of pieces of wood. How much space does the figure take up? Okay, so we have, I'm going to write it down over here. Okay, so this is 9 and this is 24. So altogether, that's 35. Okay, so 35, which makes this 35, okay, by 6 by nine, okay? So then the other one says that it's 30 across, but I already took up nine of that. So it's gonna be 21 by nine by six, okay? Because I took off the nine from the 30, that's 21, okay? It's nine deep there and it's six tall, okay? I'm just going to do those two and then add them together. Okay, so 35 times 6, 6 times 5 is 30, carry the 3. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 3 is 21. Okay, now I need to multiply that by 9. I'm going to get rid of a different color. 0, 9, 18. Okay, so there's one of them. Okay, so now I'm going to put 1890 right here. Okay, 21 times 9 times 6. Um, you know, I know that 9 times 6 is 45, so we're just going to go ahead and do 45 times 21. Okay, we have 45, and then we're going to tick, tack, and toe. 2 times 5 is 10, carry the 1. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9, 945. Okay. Add those two together, okay? 
five, 13, 18, two, 2,835. put the comma in the wrong spot, centimeters cubed, okay? All right, I'm going to have you guys do number six there, okay? And then we're going to go on to the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always, and we're going to go down to the store review, okay? So it says, Jesse wants to build a wooden chest with a volume of 8,100 cubic inches. The length will be 30 and the width will be 15. How tall will Jesse's chest be? Okay, so volume equals length times width times height. Okay, I'm gonna fill in the blanks, okay? The volume is 8,100. Okay, the length is 30. The width is 15 and we need to find the height, okay? So first I need to combine my like terms, okay? I know that three times 15 is 45 and then I have to add that zero on, okay? So now I have 450 times H, okay? And I still have my 8,100, okay? So. I am going to, in order to get H alone, I need to do the opposite of the sign, which is to divide, divide by the number that's with it, which is 450. Now, whatever I do to this side of the equal sign, I have to do to this side. So I still have to divide by 450 over here, okay? So over on the side here, I'm gonna write my multiples of 450, okay? I have 450 then 900, then 1350, then 1800, okay? Let's start there. Nope, let's not start there. Goodness, okay. All right, so I'm gonna get my multiples. It is okay to use your calculator to get multiples. It is not okay to use your calculator to get the answer. So, okay. Okay, so 2,250, 2,700, 3,150, I'm trying to get as close as I can. See, 450 is not going to go into 8 or 81, so 810. Okay, so let's go there, okay? So, 8,100 divided by 450. Okay, so not into 8, not into 81. Into 810, it looks like the closest I'm going to be able to get is just 1. Okay, then we're going to subtract. And zero, six, three, 360. Okay, so now I'm going to do that one more because that's what that is. Okay, so 360 is smaller than 450, so I'm going to bring down that last zero. Well, that's this one, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight by 450 was 3,600, I have zero left over. So my height then is 18. Okay, I'll find the top one. So 18 inches cubed, or you can put cubic inches, whichever you prefer, okay? Okay, all right, next one. Says, what is the volume of the rectangular prism? Well, all we're doing is multiplying lengths and widths and height. Okay, so two times three is six times nine, 54 inches cubed. Okay, 
Adrian's recipe for cranberry relish calls for one and three quarter cups of sugar. He wants to use half that amount. How much sugar should he use? Okay, so first I'm going to turn one and three quarters into an improper fraction. So I'm going to do dead man, okay? So four times one is four plus three is seven. So seven fourths divided by one half, okay? So when we divide fractions, we keep, we change, and we flip. Oh, I totally just left that exactly the same. Let me write that one more time. Okay, so now I'm gonna cross cancel. Two goes into two once, two goes into four twice, and I don't think I can do anything else. Okay, so seven times one is seven, two times one is two, so now I just need to get that back into a mixed number. So two goes into seven. Ah, I did this wrong, guys. I'm really sorry. Let me do it on scrap paper for you. Okay. Let me get scrap paper that doesn't have stuff written all over it. Okay. So. One and three quarters. They want to use half of that. Of means multiply. That's where his brain went for a vacation. So I'm still going to turn this into dead man, which if you don't know, if we turn this sideways, it looks a little bit like a dead man. That's why we affectionately call him dead man. Not anything morbid. Okay, so I'm still going to get seven over four. And now I want half of that. Okay, so now I can't cross cancel anything. So I'm going to get seven over eight, so seven eighths, cup. Seven eighths of a cup, okay? Sorry about that, y'all. Okay, Joanna has a board that is six feet long. She cuts it into pieces that are each one quarter foot long. Write an equation that represents the number of pieces she cut. Okay, so it's six feet long altogether. She's dividing that into one quarter pieces, and then she'll have the number of pieces. That's it, guys. All done. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for chapter 11. Come on back for chapter 12. See you soon.